We have a breaking news update now in the murder of 21-year-old college student Muna Pandey. In a heartbreaking turn of events, a 21-year-old Nepali student named Muna Pandey was tragically shot and killed in her Houston, Texas apartment. The news has sent shockwaves through both the local community and the broader Nepali diaspora as the promising young student was taken from us far too soon. Pandy, who was a dedicated nursing student at Houston Community College, was discovered with multiple gunshot wounds to her chest on Monday evening. The tragic incident occurred in her apartment and the police were alerted to the scene around 5.35 p.m. Upon their arrival, they confirmed that Pandy had been fatally shot multiple times. The scene was described as particularly distressing, as the loss of such a young life in such a violent manner left many reeling in disbelief and sorrow. Originally from Bhojpur, Nepal, Pandey had made the significant move to the United States in 2021 with dreams of pursuing higher education and a career in nursing. Her decision to study abroad was driven by a passion for helping others and a desire to gain international experience. Upon arriving in Houston, she initially lived with a Nepali friend, but in recent months, she had been residing alone. Drona Gautam, the vice president of the Nepalese Association of Houston, spoke highly of Pandey, describing her as a dedicated and hardworking student who was committed to her nursing studies. Gautam emphasized that Pandey was not just a student, but a vibrant member of the community who was deeply involved in her studies and eager to make a difference in the field of healthcare. The devastating news of Pandey's death reached her mother, Anita, early on Tuesday morning. Anita, who resides in Kandagari, Kathmandu, was overwhelmed with grief upon hearing the tragic news. Her friend called me early Tuesday to inform me of Muna's death and I was devastated, Anita recounted through tears. I fainted when I heard the news. I've lost my everything and am at a loss for what to do next. The anguish and disbelief expressed by Anita reflect the profound impact of the loss on her family and the void that Muna's absence will leave in their lives. Anita's immediate reaction was one of shock and confusion compounded by the distance that separated her from her daughter. She learned from relatives in the U.S. that the police believe the murder occurred approximately four days prior to the discovery of Muna's body. Anita had not been in frequent contact with Muna recently due to her daughter's busy schedule and travel. We hadn't been in touch recently as often since she was traveling, Anita explained. I thought she was just away on a trip. This is unimaginable. The delay in communication only added to the heartache and the sense of helplessness that Anita felt upon learning of her daughter's death. Muna had previously shared an apartment with a school friend from Nepal, but that friend had moved away for work about a year ago. Since then, Muna had been living alone. Anita mentioned that Muna had been in a relationship with an American man but she was not aware of any recent developments or details about that relationship. The circumstances surrounding her death and the potential connections to her personal life remain unclear, adding to the complexity of the investigation. Muna's move to the U.S. in August 2021 was a significant step towards her future aspirations. She had planned to return to Nepal after completing her studies next year, with hopes of reuniting with her family and contributing to her community back home. She had promised to visit after graduation, Anita recalled with a heavy heart, but now she's gone forever. The promise of a future that will never come to be adds a layer of sorrow to the already profound loss experienced by her family. Anita, who had been living with Muna in Kathmandu following a divorce from her husband, Shyam Narayan Pandey, is now grappling with the unimaginable pain of losing her daughter. She is resolute in her demand for justice, expressing her deep disappointment and anger over the tragedy. I had such high hopes for Muna. She was so talented, Anita said. The person responsible must be held accountable. Anita's call for justice highlights the need for accountability 
and the desire to see those responsible for such heinous acts brought to justice. Shortly after learning of the tragedy, Anita informed her brother Hari Adhikari in Dankuta about the devastating news. Anita has been staying with her mother, Vishnu Maya Adhikari, and her younger brother's daughter, Anisha, as she navigates this challenging time. The support of family during such a traumatic period is crucial, providing comfort and solidarity amidst the overwhelming grief. In the ongoing investigation, Houston police have made progress by arresting a suspect based on several tips received from the community. However, the identity of the suspect has not yet been revealed to the public. Additionally, authorities have released a security camera image of a bald man in a blue t-shirt seeking public assistance in identifying him as part of their efforts to solve the case. The release of this image underscores the importance of community involvement and vigilance in resolving the investigation. As the investigation continues and the search for answers progresses, the tragic death of Muna Pandey serves as a somber reminder of the violence that can occur anywhere. The loss of such a promising young life is a profound tragedy, and the community's response to this incident will be crucial in seeking justice and providing support to those affected. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We dive into the most intriguing and shocking crime stories each week, and your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay safe and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.